Hey guys, Amanda from Fantastic Freedom here. Um, I'm sitting in my van and we are actually at home right now. I'm a little frustrated because we aren't able to go anywhere right now. <laughs> and that's kind of the whole point of this thing, you know, to, to go places and see things and experience life. And so here we are at home and <clears throat> trying to figure out what the next step is going to be. So, anyway, it looks like the next step will be uh, Lake Havasu, where we will go to the van build that is being hosted by Enigmatic Nomadics with Jamie and whatever crew he travels with. Um, we probably won't be able to go to the last week of uh, the gathering because, unfortunately, life does get in the way. Um, you know, when you're new to something like this, most likely you have a home, you either have a mortgage or you're paying rent. In our situation, we are paying rent. So having said that, we have some things that we have to take care of. We have responsibilities. Unfortunately, there are, there are responsibilities that don't pertain to traveling in a van. So <clears throat> right now, um, November 1st is coming up and rent is due. That's just how it works. So we are waiting it out. And right now, Stephen and I are concentrating on getting some things done that we didn't do before. You'll see back here that I was able to cut one of the reflective pieces that um, we have desperately needed to get these up and we haven't done it yet. So um, yesterday I came out here while I was waiting for, you know, inspiration and, you know, for our travels and things like that. And I realized, oh, wait a minute, I completely forgot to put the reflectix in. Duh. So came out here into this one. Um, I still have to do the back window, although I'm not 100% sure that I will um, put reflectix in that window if we'll just do something else up there this time around. There is a... Uh, we have little, I don't know if you can see it, we have tiny little pieces of um, Velcro <laughs> up there. They're the, little, they're the little square pieces that you, you know, they're the double-sided. Um, anyway, I do have that window there, that window there, and of course this door over here is open, so, but that has the window, the other window. And we're going to... Um, put reflectix in those and then um, I don't know what we'll do for the front windows yet if we'll do anything at all or if we will try to string a curtain across or something uh, there's some things that we still have to work out and you know maybe maybe it's for the best that we haven't tr you know really traveled yet um, I will say this though while yes we still want the van life and we still want you know, the coziness of what the van has to offer for both of us. We do have a big three man tent or three room tent rather. And I know that you guys saw it on one of our other videos, uh, when we went to Clint's well campground. And, uh, so that will be going with us on our trips just because it's an alternative to staying in the van. If we decide that we need more room, or we'd rather just have more room to stretch out or something like that, then we have the option. And um, one of the other things that we were thinking about, and I don't know that this is going to happen anytime soon because they're expensive, um, is to get a very small yurt. And if you guys haven't heard of yurts, they're basically, they're Mongolian tents. That's all they are. But they have a structure around the middle that holds the walls up. And um, they've got fantastic ceilings. They're, it's, it's, they're round. The ceilings are beautiful. And um, the coverings that come with the, with the yurts are actually quite uh, creative looking. They're, they're, they've been painted or they, they're different colors, you know, things like that. So that's also an option, especially if you're going to be, oh, I don't know, say living out on BLM land for a month or so and you want to pitch a a, a a dwelling then a yurt works um, something that you can easily take down in an hour 
Um, they, they do, there is more that goes into putting those up than a regular tent. It takes like 10 minutes. Yurts usually need to have, you need to have two to three people putting them up. Um, anyway, so that's an idea. So let's see what else. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys this too. So I don't know if you've ever heard of wish.com. This is not a shameless plug for them. It's just that I do a lot of business through them because I can save tons of money. I am very cheap. <laughs> I like bargains anywhere I can find them. And wish.com, I'm sorry, but you can get the same stuff through them. You got to wait longer to get them because they come from China, but um, there's no retail. You're not paying retail. Anyway, maybe I'm bad for doing that. I don't know. I, I just, I want this lifestyle so bad. I'm willing to cut corners anywhere I can right now. Um, but anyway, I did find some things like the selfie stick that I'm using right now to hold the phone I got from Wish for like a dollar. And this over here, this right here is a bracket that holds the, uh, the iPad. So when we're going on our trips, it's going to be so much easier to take the iPad with us. We can, you know, if we, if we're near Wi-Fi, then, you know, we've got Netflix on there. Um, things like that. We've got YouTube so we can just sit and watch videos on, on there. So that would hold it for us. And that's exciting. We're also talking about possibly getting a 12 volt television that we can put in here. Uh, they have them for about a hundred and uh, I want to say $120. I don't remember the price on it now, but I did see one that has a DVD player right on the side. I thought that was pretty cool. That sounds like something that we probably buy because I know that for any, any camping trip or, you know, whatever we decide to do, that something like that will come in handy, especially for my men, because my son, unfortunately, he, he reads very well, but he doesn't like to read. So that would give him something else to do other than, you know, video games. That's about to drive me crazy. And my husband, you know, he likes his movies. And so he would be able to watch stuff. Anyway, um, trying to think of anything else at this point that we need to uh, do that I wanted to share with y'all. But um, I think one other thing that I am going to do is go over to Walmart or, I don't know, some like O'Reilly's or AutoZone or someplace and see if they have a bigger uh, windshield cover for my van. The one that I currently have is great and it does the job, but it, it's, it, it's not full coverage. So I want to have something that's completed in that way um, so that I don't have to cut reflectics for it because that's that's a lot of work I didn't realize how much work cutting reflectics was going to be for this one here I literally had to push the reflectics up against the window and push up into the corners and bend it so that I could um, you know find out where to just make the line around and where I would need to cut so that was that was di different I'm just glad that it was bendable because that made it a lot e a lot easier so, um, we will get the other ones cut, but right now it's still like 90 something degrees outside here in Arizona in October. I'm not having fun <laughs> with that. <laughs> I'm 42 years old and probably going through the beginning parts of menopause. So I am not enjoying the warmth. Um, anyway, but October, I mean, come on, it's October. It should be cooling off by now. <sighs> oh well, enough of my complaining. So, anywho, guys, um, I can't think of anything else. If you have any questions, you want to know what we're doing, anything like that, just, you know, give me a holler. Go down below and comment and, uh, you know, give me some ideas. If you guys have any ideas about things to do while we're waiting to go on our trips, let me know. I mean, I already know about the parks in our area and you know, little tiny side trips, little, little field trip type things we could be doing. Um, but there's so many other things that I'm, that I'm doing as well. So it's, you know, it's really gotta be something that we can do where I can, I can take whatever else it is that I'm doing, that I can take those things with me. Um, anyway, I think that made more sense in my head. <laughs> 
I don't think saying it, it came out right. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, if you like this video, hit the like button below. Thank you.